Like I told, uh, hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide and anybody knows CNG is a more cleaner and greener fuel. So uh, the benefits of what CNG is available for other modes of transportation, whether it be bus, uh, car or three wheelers, that's now getting translated to one of the most uh, common man's uh, vehicle, which is a two wheeler. And, and uh, that's the greatest benefit, uh, you know, from, from introducing this kind of uh, product in the market. The trend generally has been 1.4 times for any mode of transportation. So the same trend, if you're getting about uh, 50 kilometers per liter of petrol, it translates to about 65 to 70 kilometers per liter of CNG. Uh, you know, there are certain values, uh, intrinsic values, which are uh, certified by ERA and which well within the norms of uh, emissions within CNG and of course within the norms of petrol emissions. We haven't fixed the cost yet, we will do that, but in our own uh, empirical calculations, the cost-benefit analysis, we've done about, you'll recover the cost of the kit in 10 months if you drive 50 kilometers a day. We, we of course, uh, it's a revolutionary product, so we obviously see a huge surge in demand, and as an organization, we'll definitely want to, you know, like, uh, introduce these kits on a commercial mode also as early as possible, after the pilot phase is over. It's a dry fuel, but generally, traditionally, you can start it on uh, dry fuel itself. There's no effect on uh, you know wear and tear. Uh, it's been an accepted fuel for other modes of transportation. So that we all all the effort we're doing is just bringing it down to two wheelers.